Well, we're going to continue predicting writing and balancing equations, and I want to look at calcium when it's added to water. So again, uh, we need to know what kind of reaction this is. Perhaps you can tell just by looking at the words. But I'm going to go ahead and write out the formula. So there's calcium. It's a solid because it's a metal. We know from the periodic table there's only certain elements that are liquid or gas. So calcium, we're going to put an S, and we're going to add it to water. Okay, now the important question is, what kind of reaction is this going to be? Is this going to be composition? Is it going to be decomposition, combustion, single replacement, or double replacement? Well, you should recall that we have a metal and we have water. And where you've seen this before is in single replacement reactions. And so now the question is, is calcium going to replace the hydrogen? And if you look on the activity series, you will see that calcium is more active than hydrogen. And calcium will replace hydrogen in cold water, according to that table, which would be provided on the exam for you. So what happens when calcium replaces hydrogen? You need to memorize what is formed. And you need to remember that you're going to get hydrogen gas plus a base. And that base is going to be calcium hydroxide. And you need to write the formula properly. Remember, calcium is plus 2, so we need two hydroxides. <clears throat> so don't write. You're going to be tempted to write H2 plus CaO. And that would be wrong. It's H2 plus a base. And we learn that when we learn these types of reactions. OK, so now we have to balance it. We have one calcium on each side. Here I have two hydrogens. Here's two, but here's two more hydrogens. So I've got a total of four hydrogens and two oxygens. So if I put a two right there, now I can go back through one calcium on each side, four hydrogens, one, two, three, four and two oxygens, one, two, one, two. So we're balanced. 